often from all the running and the jumping and the boot camp in the park and the sports like basketball, soccer, all these things that we love to do in our society, in our world, these things, as wonderful as they can be, can create tension, can create compression, specifically in our ankles and our knees. In this particular sequence, I wanna show you how you can start to get into those areas so that you can release some of the tension, regain your birthright, a proper range of motion, and also hopefully decrease or eliminate any pain that you might be experiencing in those areas of your body. To start, I wanna show you how to uh, open the front of your ankle. So often, um, there can be tension in the Achilles tendon, which, which can restrict people's ability to, to bring their toes back towards their face. But sometimes too, there's a lot of tension that can be held in the back of the ankle, especially from wearing uh, really high heeled shoes and that kind of thing. This is uh, yeah, a great stretch for your ankle for the top of your foot. This can be pretty intense, so go really slowly. Your knees are together. Hands can be on, on the floor on either side of your hips. What you want to do is lift your knees, keep your hands there for support. You'll feel a stretch start to um, <laughs> resonate underneath your foot. If you can, you might eventually be able to lift all the way up like this. Probably not. This is usually pretty intense. I have my clients do this sometimes and it's, it, it's pretty intense for them. More, they're more kind of like this. So doing what you can, but you'll feel that in the top of your foot. It's a really weird sensation, not really like anything else. <laughs> doing what you can with that, find your breath. Try to stay there for a few seconds. It is gonna be a little bit uncomfortable. So, so good for you though. Holding that. And then slowly let your knees come to the floor. You can take a second for a minute if you need to and just circle the ankles, release any tension you might be feeling in there. Then bring your feet uh, together for a squat. Now this is going to open the front of the ankle as well. If you can, your feet are together it might be too much. In this case, you can simply go into a modified squat just like this. Um, feet together if you can. Your heels might lift up off the floor, that's okay. Just think of sinking the heels towards the floor. This also you'll feel in the front of the ankle. So the option alternatively would be here really opening the hips as well. Next one, call this overstepping dragon. With your right knee on the fur, bring your left foot forward. In some of the other videos, we did a dragon lunge keeping the knee over the ankle. This time, we're going to allow the knee to extend beyond the ankle. Uh, again, you're going to feel that in the front of your, of your left foot and also probably you'll feel the stretch in the back too. Just again holding this here. Same thing other side. Right knee, left knee on the floor, right foot steps forward. Coming forward so the knee goes beyond the right ankle again. Hands can be on the floor, wherever they feel comfortable really. Breathing deeply, breathing calmly, always breathing normally. This is actually the definition of posture. Holding stillness and then breathing normally. As long as you're doing those two things, you're always doing yoga. Releasing that. So that's a lot of work for the ankles, for the feet. This next one is amazing for your knees. It's the best, in my opinion, for the knees. Open your knees if your knees hurt. It doesn't matter how much you need to open them. So in this particular posture, we're looking to feel a sensation that resembles pain, but nothing that resembles, uh, did I say pain? Uh, a, a sensation that resembles tension. I stand corrected. Tension in the knees, nothing that resembles pain. 
So if you feel pain in your knees, open your knees. Also, if you feel pain in the ankle, again, we're working into the ankles here, releasing compression there. If you feel pain in the ankles, keep your hands here. So those are the two modifications. Pain in the knees, open. Pain in the ankles, keep your hands here. If you don't feel anything, the knees can be closer together. That's gonna intensify things. If your ankles feel okay, your bum can come right down to the floor. So you may be holding something like this. You'll feel this in the knees, you'll feel it in the ankle. Be careful of the tendency for your foot to wanna to turn out this way, to the sides. You wanna keep your foot straight back. Again, even if it means using your hands, that's fine. Keep your feet pointing straight back, knees as close together as you can or as far apart as you need them to be. The more advanced version of this, if your bum is on the floor, so your heels are touching your hips, your hips are touching the floor, and you don't feel anything, then the next thing you can do is lower your right elbow to the floor, your left elbow to the floor, maybe even the back of your head, the top of your head, your shoulders, and then you could grab your elbows, tuck your chin, and just hold here. This is called fixed firm posture. Again, those are all the different expressions. This would be the deepest expression. You can keep your body upright, your knees apart, your hands supporting you, whatever you need. Check in with your body, feel it out for yourself. Holding for a minute or so in this position, then slowly bring your hands to your feet. Slowly, gently helping yourself up with your hands, your head comes up last, and that should do it. Really good work there for your ankles, for your knees, for your feet.